All right, what's up everybody? We are still working on the bees. Uh, we're back at it again. I'm in my garage right now. I went and took all that honey that I had put in that bucket, which it filled this whole thing up, and another one, this one right here actually. It filled this one up, and <clears throat> it was all full of honey. What we did, I didn't video this, so I went and just crushed it up, and then it's in here. That looks gross, but that's really good honey. But that's what this is for. So we put it in here, which it's crushed, and it goes through a double strain filter, and that's what it's making. Nice, delicious, raw honey. And uh, so we gotta finish that up, but we're not gonna do that right now. I went and picked the bees up um, in the dark. All the bees were in there. We brought them over. I've got, okay, so I've caught a couple swarms this year. Those were two swarms. Those are big. This one right here is in a medium box. I didn't get a whole lot of comb out of that hive. The bees are in there, the queen's in there, everything's in there. We gotta let her go, but I'm thinking I'm gonna move those bees into one of these. There's a lot of bees, so I don't know how well it's gonna work, but they don't have any wax, and I need them to build wax, and I need them to build it up in a hurry, so. If I can find, if I can find one of my sugar feeders in here, I don't know if I got one. I'm gonna leave a blank space in that box. I got a ton of sugar water from a snow cone place. We are gonna feed them sugar water. So I don't know if we're gonna do that today, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys up, let y'all see me pull this stuff out. We're gonna release that queen, put all the bees in another different box, and we're gonna let them go for a little while. Don't think they're gonna make it through till winter. Um, if they do, I have overwintered bees in these nuke boxes. <clears throat> and they've actually, and they've actually survived with just that but I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna do. These are my pawpaws. These are my pawpaws bees that came from Caitlin's grandpa that passed away. And so I kinda wanna keep them separate and just keep them pawpaws bees. But we'll see. I just don't know if I can make them live. It's just, it's too late in the year. We'll see what we can do though. So you guys stick around for the journey. Let's we'll see if we can get these bees to do something. You guys stick around. All right, so I don't have any feeders here. So what we're gonna do is just work with what we got. I'll leave a blank spot and put a feeder in it later this evening. So I got feeders out there and we'll feed them later. They're gonna need sugar water though. We gotta get them, we gotta get them, we gotta get them built up. So let's get after it. So I do have some of these frames. These are from last year's with new foundation in them. I went through and cleaned them all up and then I burned them with a torch to make sure I got all the, anything on them that didn't need to be on them burn off. So I'm gonna put a couple of those in there in here and there's whatever little bit of brood comb that i did get from there i'm going to put it in here just to kind of keep the bees uh in there so let's get after it
to show you guys this. That's the queen. You can see her in there. So we're going to turn her loose. We want her to go down in there. She got out. Now I'm just hoping she went down. Turned it around backwards. Now I'm gonna go in this hive over here and see if there might, I might be able to find a frame of uh, eggs and brood and stuff to kind of put in there to keep these bees busy. This hive's ready for another box. And that one, we'll keep the monitor on it. Everything looks good. Job done. Uh, now we just gotta feed, feed, feed. So I'll do that. We'll uh, get a feeder tonight to put in here and we'll just start feeding the crap out of them. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll promote wax growth. I'll probably get another box to put on top of them, to put like five more frames in and give them some room to start adding give them a little help that looks good keep you guys updated you guys stay tuned don't forget smash the like button hit the subscribe button all that good stuff all right so we're gonna close out this video here in the kitchen um, I haven't really did a whole lot of video on with the bees since the last time but I did finish up the honey from Paw Paul's beehive man these GoPros seems like every time you need one the battery dies on it but anyways, last time I think I left you guys on the beekeeping video, we had crushed up all of the honey that was capped that was in the hive. We didn't take anything but the capped honey. And it ended up making this much honey. I'll show you a picture right here. So it made quite a bit. And um, it's good. Very tasty too. But what, it end, what I ended up doing is we're going to give this to the family. So I ordered. You can't... I, I have a bunch... I wanted these, which is the they're one pound, so that's a pint. All they had was the half pints on Amazon in the price range as to what I wanted to pay for. It's like 25 bucks for 12 of these. Or I could have paid $126 for 12 of these, and it just didn't seem feasible. So I didn't cap this with wax because I'm going to eat it. 
So this is going to be mine to eat. And then I'm going to keep one of these for memorabilia. And we made it made a dozen of them. So anyways, I'm going to kind of show you what I, what I got going on here. This is how you can see the wax seal there. How I put that on. I'm melting wax here. Right now, I'm, I'm going to melt all of this down and make one big block. <clears throat> but I had it all melted down and then I took and dipped this in it when it was melted and I did just the cork part and I turned it over and rolled it and then some parts that like had air bubbles you can see some like right in here the difference I took a toothpick and I got some of this wax and filled the holes in around it I did it again I let it sit for a little while and dry I did it again and then I let it dry a little longer and then I came over and I just completely turned this thing off and I took my thermostat right here. My wife will probably think I ruined, but I didn't. There's no wax on it. And when I turned it off, it was at like almost 200 degrees. I let it get down to 160. And um, once I did that, I put the final layer on it and I took it all the way to right down in here. So. The cooler the wax gets, the easier it is. It like dries a whole lot faster. And so it goes on a lot thicker. So the when I got down to 165, I dipped it. We did all 12 of them that way. I actually had one that was in this jar that I had from last year. I keep one of these every year for my honey, um, just at a honey crop. I'll show you guys what they do. So hold on. So ever since I started beekeeping, I've made one of these and I've kept it. And so this is 2018 spring honey. And this was 2019 spring honey right here. And I have 2017 is in there right now. But as you can tell, the difference here. This you can see through, this one you cannot. This has turned to sugar, which is still good, but to eat it, and this one's turned to sugar too. That's what happens when they sit for a long period of time. So when it crystallizes, you can, I, I had one earlier that I didn't seal like this. And what happened was, what, what happened was, as it turned to sugar, it expanded. And when it expanded, it came up out of the seal, which I'm not worried about this one because I'm going to eat this one. This is mine. So I'm going to eat that. And um, so I ended up taking taking the cork off. I heated this. It wasn't this one, but I, it's right here. I heated this honey up, which was it was in here. And it's still good. So I heated it up. Probably lost some of its, whatever, they, the processed... I kind of processed it because I heated it a lot harder than what it needed to be. And so I ended up putting it in there, but I'll eat it because it still tastes good. And then I emptied this out and put the leftover honey from Pawpaw's Beehive in there. And I'm going to eat it. But that's what happens whenever you leave honey for a really long time, which is really cool. That um, I thought this was kind of a fun thing to do to keep my honey in market. And... Um, I didn't get any honey this year because we lost a lot of beehives. I'm probably gonna get some. I do have a little bit of honey in some of the hives and I'll probably take some of it here pretty soon. I just, I'm not sure when, but that's the process. We removed the beehive from the wall. We brought them home. You've seen me move them over into that nuke box and then we crushed and strained the honey and I showed you the picture of all the honey that it made and then I bottled it, which I used a funnel and a scooper and I put the funnel in and I scooped it until it got up to yay high and then I corked it and then we put the wax on it. There we go. But that is all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a process. It's taken me like probably a week and a half to get all this done. And um, so 
so it takes to be one of these beekeeper youtubers so i'm not really doing the beekeeping much anymore because all my beekeep my bees died but we're gonna get back into it i've got three out here two at my parents and one at the farm so we got like seven hives now so we'll get back in it until then don't forget smash the like button hit the subscribe button all that good stuff ring the bell for notifications so you get notified every time i post a new video that's all i got so we'll see you guys on the next video